We're less than 24 hours away from our South Jersey snow special. Let's take a look at what you can expect in the Garden State. It's meteorologist Joe Martucci here. This is my snow forecast. Two to four inches of snow for most of South Jersey, except right along the shores there. Northern part of the state, a half inch to two. We'll talk a little bit more than that in just a minute. Let's talk about what the big story is on Friday and that is the winds, wind gusts, getting up to 45 miles an hour in the morning. That'll topple over your garbage can nearby. Here are a couple of flips of the garbage can there. Make sure to secure your loose outdoor objects as we go into the morning. We'll kind of diminish our winds a little bit as we go into the afternoon, but still on the breezy side there. Then we get to our future cast. We're dry during the day on Friday. We're dry for your Friday evening plans. But here comes the rain and snow around 1 o'clock on Saturday. 1 a.m. here, you see it's snowing north of Tom's River, west of Bridgeton. Anywhere south of Tom's River, east of Bridgeton is raining, but it's only brief rain. Eventually, it turns to snow, and it accumulates pretty much from the onset as long as you're inland here. And you see some heavier snow, especially in the southern half of the state here as we go into the early morning. By mid-morning, that heavy stuff is gone, and then we're talking about snow ending between 8 to 10 a.m. on Saturday, with a returning snow shower Saturday, where if you see it during the afternoon, you get an additional coating, but that would be about all. We'll see a sunset as we go into our Saturday evening. Here's a zoomed in look at South Jersey here during this event. So it starts between 1 to 2 a.m. here on Saturday. Notice our temps though, 41 in Cape May, 37 in Atlantic City. It's just too warm to snow here, so it will be rain. As we get later into the morning, you do see that May's Landing getting the 32 in most places inland at or below freezing. But along the immediate shoreline here, it's in the mid 30s. And that's why I think it's going to struggle to accumulate at the shore here and why the totals are a little bit lower. Inland areas, I think it sticks to all untreated roads and sidewalks. At the shore, it's going to struggle. Again, with those temperatures above 32 degrees, and then once that snow ends, we get into the upper 30s, maybe even around 40 degrees for a high temperature. We'll see this snow melt pretty quickly. So here's a look at our South Jersey forecast. We'll zoom on in for you. Two to four inches west of the Garden State Parkway from about exit 98 all the way down to exit 25 west of Pennsylvania here. Half inch to two for those lighter blue areas like Point Pleasant, Atlantic City, four to skew because temperatures are going to be in the mid 30s throughout the event. It's just going to be harder to stick. So totals will be lower there. You go further north. It's a half inch to two, not because of the temps, but because there's not going to be enough precipitation to even bring that much. So it's a plowable snow for those areas in that medium blue and that lighter blue. It's really just a shoveling, salting, snow brush kind of event. Now we look at our liquid to snow ratio. On Tuesday, we had this very heavy wet snow. An inch of water was about five inches of wet snow. As we go into Saturday, it's going to be more of our typical kind of Jersey snow, where an inch of water is about 11 inches of snow. My guess is it's probably around nine inches or so. So it's a little bit on the wetter side, but it's not that concrete that fell from the sky on our Tuesday here. And even at the shore, Still looking to be on the wetter side, but just not as wet as what we saw on our Tuesday. Now, in terms of Saturday night, we do have a drop below 32 after precipitation ends. Winds will be light overnight. While we don't have that rapid fall in temperatures, there's going to be many icy areas on your steps, sidewalks, and roads on Saturday night. So, throw the salt if you can. If you live in an area where you have a property management company coming through and taking care of the sidewalks and the stairs, hopefully they're salted on Saturday night. Otherwise, it's going to be a little treacherous out there. Here's our gust as we go into Saturday. Fairly late while it's snowing. It's really after when the snow ends that the winds kick up out of the west-northwest, gusting into the 20s to around 30 miles an hour for the evening before we drop overnight. Here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast. So we are talking about a dry President's Day weekend after Saturday. Temperatures in the 40s for Sunday and Monday. We'll stay in the 40s for Tuesday. And then how about a pair of 50s for Wednesday and Thursday here to be honest with you, after we get past Saturday, don't really see much in the way of wintry weather for the rest of February. And that means if you are a snow lover out there, we're going to see if March can be more of a wintry month as opposed to a month like spring. You can check out more from our Lee Weather team with our Across the Sky podcast. New episodes come out every Monday.